Well, there's nothing quite like seeing your favorite movie on the big screen, but that's not the only way people are connecting with their favorite characters. National correspondent James Packard shows us why the collection of keepsakes from these movies is such big business. Gee, that looks like Robin Williams. It does, and he was in this at one point. This is from Bicentennial Man. In a warehouse outside Los Angeles sits a treasure trove of Hollywood history. This is part of the Death Star. The Batman costume in the middle is from Batman Returns. This is from the second movie, Chamber of Secrets. This is Harry's wand. That's the actual wand. This is one of, yeah, well, one of his wands. A collection of some of the famous items up for grabs at Prop Store's annual live auction of film and TV memorabilia. We've got about 1,400 plus items in this auction. Among the treasures, the original dress Carrie Fisher wore in 1977's Star Wars, A New Hope. It was taken home by a crew member after um, production and nobody knew what happened to it for a number of years. And it was found about 10 years ago, sort of crumpled up in, in an attic. And it's very rare to find any costume from Star Wars, let alone from Princess Leia. Uh, this is the only known costume from Princess Leia that we, we think has survived. It's expected to go for north of one million dollars. We can screen match that and that's something that's very important. It's a little bit of detective work that we do to identify is this the exact one that you see on screen. It's interesting that you describe this as being found crumpled up in an attic somewhere because it feels like if a movie of this scale were made now yes. that costume would be so well protected and I wonder if that's sort of a, an accumulation of knowledge over the years about, well, these kinds of things are valuable and we should be keeping watch on them and take care of them. It is. It wasn't really until 1998 when Planet Hollywood, Hollywood was founded that a lot of people started taking notice that this stuff could get out into the public. This work, collecting, restoring, and preserving parcels of rich film history, is a team sport and Brandon Allinger is team captain. Reviewing the content that's being offered to us, uh, researching it, evaluating it, assessing the authenticity, that is a big part of the process. Obviously, we're also out there being very proactive. We're looking for things that we want to have in the auction. And the sales here aren't always just for business. There's a great selection of material in this sale from Sam Neill, the actor who played Dr. Alan Grant in the Jurassic franchise. It is being sold to benefit the UNICEF children's charities. How often are filmmakers or actors showing up and seeing this stuff and going, oh my gosh, I remember wearing that helmet or, I mean, reading that script or whatever. Um, we do have that. And um, the, the people that really appreciate this as collectors are folks that are producers, are people that are making films and television today. We've been able to do some fun things in the past where we reunite an actor with a piece they used in a movie. Uh, we had a Stormtrooper helmet once. Uh, from the very first Star Wars film, which had scratched into the back of it, just you know, very crudely by hand, the word Sid. And we were able to go away, do some research, work out who Sid was. It was a, a background player in the UK. We reunited him with it, and it was a great moment. You know, it was 40 years later, after he was in the film, that he was able to put the Stormtrooper helmet back on his head. Here, among the display cases, a story of how filmmaking is changing. Digital filmmaking has influenced things, certainly, as far as what physical physical assets are being made for a, a production. I think where we see that most directly is probably things like spaceships. Today it would be a digital model. It, it, there would be no physical asset. It just wouldn't exist. Mementos of the past with signs for the future and magic forever. This is Top Gun, yeah. yeah. So Tom Cruise is playing for special effects shots. Elf, as I mentioned, is a is a fan oh, favorite. So that's the that's sleigh. What that is. Yes. <laughs> the clawsometer on yeah. there. That's you know, if we clap loud enough and, right. and we make Santa happy, I think it'll bring Christmas cheer. James Packard, Scripps News, Los Angeles.